Hey, what's up you guys? Adding a trailer hitch to your Ford Maverick can take you to some really fun places like camping, bike riding, can even tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Let's break down this easy install. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Okay, so we're ready to prep for the hitch installation. The first step is gonna be lowering the exhaust. To do that, the instructions are calling for the removal of an exhaust hanger here up a little further there and another third exhaust hanger. Um, however, on this particular vehicle, we determined that it is only necessary to remove the most rear exhaust hanger. We're gonna use some soapy water and exhaust pliers. And our next step, we're gonna remove the exhaust hanger bracket. I'll be using a 10 millimeter socket to remove two bolts, one here and one on the other side here. Okay, our next step is to remove the underbody paneling on the passenger side here. To do that, we're gonna need a flathead screwdriver for a plastic fastener up here on the frame, and then eight bolts around the body panel. We'll be using a seven millimeter socket on those bolts. Now we'll go ahead and slide it out. And we're gonna go ahead and set Exposing it aside Exposing the two bolts that will be with the underbody panel removed. We can now see the two bolts that we need to remove for the hitch installation. I'll be removing the bolts using an 18 millimeter socket. Okay. Now we'll repeat. Okay, and our next step, we're gonna be addressing the hitch door on the rear bumper here. Um, there's two options with this. You can take it completely out um, or you can trim it to a smaller spec if you're not using the space over here for factory seven way. Okay, so we went ahead and measured and taped off per the manufacturer's specifications. Um, if you wanna see that the specifications, you can click on the link below. I'll be using an air saw to cut fascia here. Okay, now we're gonna be trimming the underbody paneling. And once again, the dimensions and specs for the trimming can be found in the instructions, also on the link on the video. Um, I'll be using an air saw to cut this as well. Okay, so now we're ready to install the provided 7 16 carriage bolt and carriage plate. Um, I'll be installing that into the frame using a 7 16 fish wire tool. Um, let's show you how it's done. Okay, I'm gonna take the carriage bolt and put it through the carriage plate and lock it in. Then I'm gonna take the fish wire and put the spring part on the threaded bolt. And now we're ready to put the carriage bolt through into the frame. And then next, our carriage plate. And now we just simply pull back down and the bolt comes through. And we'll repeat the same steps on the driver's side. All right, we're ready to put the hitch up into place. It's a good idea to get a second set of hands to help you out. Uh, the hitch is a little bit awkward and a little bit heavy too. So um, let's go ahead and raise this up into place. Okay, we're lifting the hitch up and we're gonna bring it through the trimmed portion of the bumper. Now we're going to take our most forward hole. We're gonna take our fish wire and route it through the most forward hitch attachment hole. Okay, and then we're gonna take our M12 hardware and we're gonna just put it temporarily into uh, the weld nut to help us hold the hitch up into place while we place the other hardware. Okay, now that we have our hitch into place with our provided hardware, let's go ahead and point out uh, the last piece of hardware that we need to put in that's already up there holding our hitch up as well. It's the uh, uh, M12 bolt here with a conical washer. The conical washer goes into the bolt with the teeth facing upward towards the hitch. And let's go ahead and place this into the last weld nut there. 
Here's the M12 bolt that we used to set the hitch into place going into the weld of the frame. Here's the 716's hardware. And now we're gonna take that last M12 bolt and go ahead and put it into the frame into the weld nut and just screw it in. And we'll repeat that step on the other side. We're back on the driver's side. We're gonna remove the fish wire and install our provided flange nut. Again, with the teeth facing up. We'll repeat on the passenger side. Okay, we're ready to tighten and torque to the manufacturer's specs. Um, you can find those specifications in the uh, description or in the link below. For the most forward bolts, I'll be using an 11 16 socket with a five inch extension. Okay, and for the most rearward bolts, I'll be using a 19 millimeter socket. Okay, we're ready to put the underbody paneling back up on the passenger side. Um, as we were doing that, this attachment piece here is in the way. Let's go ahead and just take that piece off. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put our underbody paneling back in. Okay, we'll reinsert our plastic retainer clip, push that in, and now we can go ahead and put the rest of the screws in. Okay, we're ready to hang the exhaust back up. Um, this is the bracket that we took off earlier, and we're gonna go ahead and take this hanger off. We're gonna go ahead and discard the bracket because our hitch has a built-in bracket that we're gonna hang this uh, rubber portion onto. Okay, with our hitch installed, we brought the vehicle down on level ground to get you some important measurements. Okay, we have a two inch square receiver. From the pinhole to the rear edge of the bumper is going to be three inches. Okay, and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver tube is gonna be 18 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit your local U-Haul store or visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.